guys let's move on to the next topic that is performing maths so uh, let me explain you what exactly performing maths is see in a born shell or bash shell you can call it as a so bash shell uh, for any mathematical operation it gives a, a special command okay or you can say the expression so that is what i have mentioned here by using expr command okay so by use of expr command uh we can perform our mathematical operation but there is a problem with expr command so that i am going to show you now also it's little bit kind of a ugly you can say uh or cranky also you can say okay uh but yes and then finally uh, we, we are going to see how we can using brackets by using brackets you can perform your mathematical operations and by using floating point solution so for floating point solution we have something called bc uh, that is uh, by default built in uh, uh, bash shell calculator we call it as a guys so let me show you then it will be easy for you to understand so first uh, uh, first i'll explain how we can use expression command guys so guys just try to understand when you run called x expr and if you do 1 plus 5 okay so you are getting your output means the operator which is working here is plus symbol and it's the argument one is one and the argument two is five and by using of expression command we are getting our output but the problem with expression command when instead of plus if you change the operator to multiplication then you are getting syntax error in a bond shell so shell will not understand this thing okay shell will not understand shell will understand only few operators so there are list of operators okay which we need to use in our in our bash shell or in our script guys so i'll give you the list of those operator which all operators we can use it for bash shell that is important so get to get the output of this one we need to use backslash so as soon as if you do expression one and then you multiply like this one so you are you are getting your output but if you directly use instead of backslash, then it's not going to give you the output. Guys, hope you have understand how we can use the expression command. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the latest notification.